Connectivism It is one of the learning theories that greatly takes on the power of technology. George Siemens introduced connectivism in 2005, and he believed that learning happens within and across a network of connections. It explained how internet technologies have created new opportunities for people to learn and share information across the web. For example, a learner who simply cannot understand a particular concept like politics would go online and search for information that he can digest. Upon going over a link in a social media post, he digs deeper into the topic until he gets the information that he needs. Soon as he has a good understanding of the topic, he can now share what he has learned through various platforms and even share more about his new learning. This is the idea of connectivism. Connectivism presents a model of learning and provides an understanding of learning skills needed for learners to thrive in a digital era. In integrating information technology, it is common for the learners of the 21st century to simply go into the vastness of the World Wide Web. They could easily find information and learn. And they can learn anytime, anywhere. However, there are implications to this theory. Because of the large amount of information that learners can find in the internet, they might get swayed by the false information that they could come across. Honestly, the integration of technology in learning can become an enriching experience to learners. It cultivates the digital literacy skills of the learners. On the other hand, educators and parents alike must be cautious to what their children are learning through the internet and social media sites so that they wouldn't fall victim to false information. Strict guidance must be observed, especially to young learners. The world is full of information. We can learn in various ways, in different forms. At the end of the day, we need to carefully assess the information that we have gathered through different networks and systems. 